Hello everybody, I am super super excited to share this haul video with you. If you don't like haul videos, you can just skip it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoy haul videos. Uh, I place an order through craftycity.com and I will have a link down below to her website. She was the first one that I saw that got the Prima, new Prima stuff in stock. So I had to run over to her store and stock up on anything that I thought that I would want. I did uh, realize after I placed the order that I did miss a few things. And scrapbook.com also has this, uh, all the Prima stuff in stock as well. And so I ended up placing another order through uh, scrapbook.com. Uh, which is going to be here tomorrow. So um, both places I placed this order on Friday and today's Wednesday and I believe it is based in North Carolina, the store, and I live in Nevada. So good shipping. She was super nice when I asked her questions and everything like that. So really great service and also scrapbook.com's uh, order will be here tomorrow and I placed it yesterday so again I love getting my stuff super super fast as fast as possible <laughs> and um, just want to throw that out there that both companies super amazing so rambling over the one that I was most excited about was Amelia Rose and I am going to go through um, the papers, the embellishments, and then I have a whole other um, kind of lot of flowers that I'm just going to show all at once because I don't really know which ones go with which and I'm too, honestly, I'm too lazy to look it up. So I'm just going to show the collections first and then the flowers. So I always like to get the 12 by 12 paper packs and honestly, I am a little bit bummed because it comes with the foil on it this time. I think that's because a lot of people were complaining that they got the 12 by 12 packs and it didn't have the foil. I personally liked that. I wish there was a like another option like maybe they did the sheets with no foil on it this time uh, because I am not a fan of foil so I don't know anyways I do have I did get the A4 pack which does not have foil so I will kind of be playing around and um, trying to decide on you know how much foil I want on each project but I am going to actually get a craft knife and open this all right so this video is going to be super long so grab a cup of coffee or tea a snack so I love the papers. It reminds me of um, Zelatil and the, what was the other one? I can't think of the name right now. See all that foil, not not too fond of that. It's too, too shiny for me, but I like the back side. So that would be cool. And this one has like some writing on it and that. See that is an okay, uh, amount of foil I think a little bits here and there and then if you add more like your picture and your embellishments and stuff it'll kind of hide a lot of that and then this one's really pretty as well it's almost like a brownish pink it's really pretty and then the little tickets with the foil on there and then the pink lined paper more foil and this one's cool and I love the florals in this and I like that the florals themselves don't have foil on them it's just kind of like the leaves and the little flourishes that have the foil so I can just cut those off and I like getting the paper pack because then I can have like one or two sheets for fussy cutting out the flowers because I love doing that especially with these bigger ones and kind of place them here and there and then also so that I can use the back side and then this one is super pretty oh the back side and then this one I really like these little clusters of like little embellishments kind of thing I look at I look at them like embellishments because I would cut them out 
In the back it's super cute too. So that's the 12 by 12 with the foil. And then like I said, same paper, just no foil. I'm actually curious to see that one. So it's white instead of the foil, which I really, really like. So that's nice. I'm just gonna flip through just a little bit. So yeah, I really like the non-foiled paper better. Personal preference, but you know. I also got the six by six paper and this does not have foil on it either. So yay, <laughs> so excited about that. And I don't mind, you know, like little foils on the stickers and things like that. It's just the paper, I don't know, it's just, to me it's just too much. So I wanted to show these a little bit up close so that you guys can see. I know it's hard to tell online and, um, in you know videos and stuff but they're super cute love without limits confidence don't worry thanks crafty sweet day uh, dream inspire others then the other side is stay curious hello cutie these would be super cute on cards just as like a sentiment and if you're not a stamper you can use these on your cards uh, baking cookies collecting moments hello weekend I think these are for actually um, a planner, but I'm gonna use them for my layouts and different things like that. I also got these stickers, and these would be super fun as like little embellishments. Um, so there's three different sheets. So there's one that's more white, and then that brown, and then the black. You could definitely use a circle die and make your own. Um, I'm a lazy crafter, so I like to just have things done for me. And I also got the sand and crystals, which are super gorgeous. I hope I'm showing these good. So there's like the gold, the pink, the black, white. So really, really pretty. I wish there was more of the white. They're super pretty. And then the ephemera pack. Let's see if it shows. Yes, it shows them on the back. So you could see there's like some clocks, some butterflies, just lots of different little things you can add here and there to your cards, your layouts, uh, mixed media projects, all sorts of things. And they do have the foil on them. And next is the chipboard stickers which I really like. There's a little bit of foil. So this one is like a word that's foiled. So it's captured, grateful, create. And then there's more circles, florals, birds, butterflies. Really cute. So hopefully I can show these good for you guys. All right, so that is the Amelia Rose. I did I'm not sure if I got any flowers for the Amelia Rose collection itself because I do have a lot of pink flowers already, but I um, did get some, I think, for the lavender. I don't know. I'll show those in just a second. Now I'm rambling again. All right, I'm gonna... <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna set this aside. All right, next collection is the Love Story collection, and I think... Honestly, I know a lot of Frank Garcia lovers are going to be, I don't know, angry with me, but I wasn't that excited about this one, but I did get it because I liked the muted tones and could definitely use a lot of these papers um, with different, you know, other collections as well. So um, let me open this up. Couldn't find my craft knife and then I remembered my husband took it. So using my, my tweezers here. All right, but looking at it, I actually am really glad that I did get it because it is really pretty and it's richer in person, like the colors, than um, online. And, oh, sorry, I'm looking for myself. I'm not even showing you guys. All right, so this one is really nice. I love the little florals on here. And there's like little doilies, little heart doilies back there, some script really nice and then I love these uh, you hold the key to my heart the best love is a kind that awakens a soul 
beautiful and then a bunch of little different little cards some feathers really really pretty all right so this one you get four i think in the amelia rose you only got three yeah so then there's this one on the back of that one pretty oh, I, oops sorry guys <laughs> i love how this one looks it's really neat perfect starter page for like mixed media layout and then you got beautiful different florals and like the keyholes really really pretty and then this one super pretty and then more cards perfect paris I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. Only pretty things. Favorite. Love story. Perfect. You guys have already love this. And then, again, the florals. And then this one's really pretty as well. It has, like, a map in the background and then, like, feathers on top. So really pretty. And then another kind of collage page. I hope I'm showing this good. I love how this these florals kind of frame that pretty pretty lady. All right, and then the little hearts here. These would be cute if you were doing Valentine's cards or something. You cut those out. And then this one is really pretty as well. It's a map with some florals, some script really pretty so i'm definitely gonna have to get the a4 pack of this one and i think there i think frank always comes out with a um um eight by eight pack as well and hopefully it doesn't have foil in it so i'm actually really excited about this one now now that i've looked at it so here is a six by six paper and the ephemera and let me show you guys So there's like a bicycle, some words, florals, pretty little ladies, some shoes, I see a feather. So really, really cute. There is 47 pieces in there. And then this one has glitter and more foil than the um, other collection. Uh, let's see, there's 38 pieces. I'll just show you. There's not, they're not on the back, or else I would sh just show the back, because I know the glare can be kind of annoying. But I really do like the butterflies, and like these little macaroons, hearts, florals, beautiful, bicycle, floral, some perfume, love story, super cute, some feathers, birds. Pretty ladies, so in love. So really, really cute collection. I think this one, I don't know. I'm excited about this one actually. As you can tell, I'm actually surprised that I'm excited about this one. Because I honestly, I really wasn't that um, excited about it. But I knew um, that I've loved Frank's collections in the past. So I thought I'd just get it. All right, next is the Lavender Collection. Another one that I wasn't excited about when I see the collection itself, but when I've seen the design team uh, projects, I fell in love. So um, I got it, and purple honestly is my favorite color. I don't craft with it often, but it is my favorite color. So let me just open this. And I'm just telling you guys, I'm probably going to have another haul video tomorrow because I did order a bunch of other things from uh, scrapbook.com, the vintage floral collection, I believe. Well, I think it's just papers. Um, Crafty City didn't have it, so I knew I needed to get it there. So um, anyways, all right, so here's the florals, lots of greens and purples, and then... 
A lot of different little cards. All right, let me see if I can get this in here for you guys. All right, our story, family time, weekend, sweet moments. Uh, find yourself and be that. Hello, beauty, cute smiles. Hope lives here. This blessed light. Ton of different little cards, and they're all the same. And this one again, only. Oh no, it says four. Am I miscounting? Do I not know how to count? There might be actually four. No, there is only three sheets of the Amelia Rose. So I didn't. I know how to count. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so here is another page. This is a good starter mixed media page. And then this one. Oh, that foil. Probably going to have to get an uh, A4 pack of this as well. So I don't have all that foil. I like the florals, just not all that foil. All right. This one is like a grid map. Kind of cool, actually. Different. And then the butterflies. I think this is what I'm most excited about about this collection is all of the butterflies that I can cut out and put on um, like pages and projects. There's four pages of those. All right, and then this one. Sorry, I keep hitting my tripod. Hopefully it's not too shaky. This one, another good starter page. And then this page here, got the floral up top. Some ledgers, some script, a little bit of foiling here, really pretty. And some more like map type paper. Different, definitely different. This one here is going to be super fun to fussy cut out all of the florals and then a little bit of that foil. All right, and then this one here. I'm gonna flip this one around. All right, really pretty. And then this one here. There's a lot of collage type papers in this collection. It's like honeycomb, really pretty florals. And that's it for the 12 by 12. I thought I had picked up the six by six, but I didn't. So, but I did get the Say It In Crystals. They have like this gold um, on top. Let's see if I can show those. Actually, I'm gonna open it up really quickly. You guys can hopefully see that foil on top. It's super pretty. Some on the purple and then the white ones. Really, really pretty. You get 48 of those. And then the ephemera. Oh, this is super tiny. There's uh, some words, some butterflies, some little tickets. Um, it's super, super small. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. All right, and then the cardstock or the chipboard uh, stickers. Love the florals. It says sing and dance, butterflies. Love no love knows no bounds. Can't read today. I can't count and I can't read today. All right, little bike. Loving this. It says confident every day, sweet day start the day right really really pretty and then i also got the butterflies all right for the lavender collection and they're super pretty so these ones are vellum i'm actually going to take them out you guys can see so there's a paper no, there's three layers actually and they're all different layers so really nice you get some really cool dimension on those come on focus there we go so there's three layers the top layer is vellum 
which makes them really nice and delicate. And then the bottom layers are paper. So let me show you guys. And it has the prints from the paper collection. So really nice. And then these ones are more, you can probably use those for any, any projects. Doesn't have to be the lavender collection. And then these ones are a little bit different. They have the little um, body on them. Really cute. And these ones are only two layers. But you could still get a lot of dimension on those. So really pretty. And I got two packs of each because you guys all know I love butterflies. So really, really cool. And you can use a lot of these for um, the different collections as well. It doesn't have to be for the lavender collection. So that is going to be the collections. I am actually going to uh, show you guys now all of the flowers that I got. All right, so I saw that she had the leaves, or not the leaves, the feathers, and I had to pick them up. I don't think I've ever had these, and I love doing uh, like um, dream catcher type projects. So, and I love adding these to, um, you know, behind flower clusters and different things like that. So I picked up two of those. And then now the flowers, and I will have all of the, everything listed down below. So, um, cause I don't think they come with names on the package, just the numbers. So these ones are a little bit different, fab, like they're more like a fabric than they are paper. They're not, they're not paper, I don't think. And they have like a frosted, almost like glittery effect on the, um, like, you know, sometimes we gesso um, some of the embellishments, but it has a little bit of glitter in there. And then, um, so yeah, so those are really pretty. Not too much glitter or anything, because sometimes I feel some of the flowers have a little bit too much glitter and I always have to rub some of it off. All right, so that's that one. And then these ones, I didn't realize that these had like the little glitter pieces on there. Um, and they did that with the first Heaven Scent collection, which is super pretty. So hopefully you guys can see that. So that's that one. And then these little flowers, which I was super excited about. Because I love adding little flowers here and there. And um, I think this one goes with the love story. I think a lot of the flowers that I got were um, for the love story collection. So, um, yeah, so that's those. They're, they're teeny tiny. There's 16 in a pack. And I did get two of each. So this one I didn't really open up, or I think I did. No, I didn't open this one up. Um, this one just has some regular flowers in there. And then some little stems with the leaves. And then, sorry, I'm trying to keep all of the packaging together. And then this one here is um, their fabric, and they're really nice. Really pretty. They're like two toned, like cream and then uh, pink, cream and blue, cream and yellow. So, really, really pretty. And there's nine of those. And then these ones, I didn't realize, I personally am not a fan of these ones. And I didn't realize that they were shiny, but they are. So, these ones are, I'm going to tell you guys the number of these ones. These ones are 597214. So these ones are like shimmery. Come on, camera. All right. So they have almost like a metallic paint on them. It's hard to tell on camera, but I uh, just wanted to point that out because I am a little bit bummed about that. I was hoping that they were just smaller flowers and then there's like the little beads in the center. 
So they are pretty, but uh, for me, it's, I probably won't be using them that much. All right, and then the ones that I'm most excited about probably are these ones here. These are like crepe paper. They're really delicate and super pretty, and they have like these fine little details on the, like by the stamens, little, like almost like the pollen dropped or something. Really, really pretty. And I think it's on all of them. So there's different styles, and there's like gray, um, white, and pink. So again, there's no leaves on the back, which I like because I always tear those off anyways. So really pretty. This one has, <clears throat> excuse me, this one has like a little stamen in the center there. So that's those ones. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, if you stuck around for the whole video, Thank you so much. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Uh, international is fine. So, so yeah. So that's the new Prima stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. And I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.